In this tutorial, I'll show you how to load in textures, transform them, and change their colors in Keyshot Render Engine. So I'm going to double click on this dress, and this is the, the material that it has. So we can just click on the diffuse to change the color. But I don't want that, I want to load in a texture. So I'm going to go to textures, and on color, I'm going to double click. And then load in a texture I made, a seamless texture. And there it is. Now it's at box map, and we can scale it up and down. You can also type in a number in the scale. And we can also put it on UV coordinates. Now this depends on your UV. Sometimes it can get strange and stretched. Or other times box map just doesn't look good, and UV coordinates is perfect in what you need. So I'm going to put it back on box map. And now let's change the color of this texture. So just by clicking blend with color, you can see the color is changing. And then if we just move our slider around here, we can tint our texture. If you want to load a different texture in instead, you could just click on this icon here and then let, replace it with a different texture. If you want to create a dress that has transparency and you have a texture which does not have a white background but transparent background, then you can go to Opacity, double-click that, and load in the texture without the background. So this is a PNG without a background, and there you can see it's on color, so it's not quite reacting like I wanted to, so I'm going to select Alpha instead. And if you didn't want this texture here, you could even turn that off and then just have a plain color texture with this as the opacity map. And there you can see, after letting it render for a few seconds, we can see now transparency. And it will just get sharper if you let it render longer. Now let's see how we can make our textures of our clothes look a bit more like fabric by adding a normal map that has fabric grain. But just before that, I'm going to copy this fabric across onto this part. You could just make it a different color, but I want this texture on there. So I'm going to hold down shift, left mouse click, and then right mouse click, and there it's applied onto that part. Right now back here, on the bump, and let me just pause my, my key shot rendering, because it's making a racket. Then on the bump, I'm going to double click, and then I'm going to load in a normal map I made from one of my cotton and linen um, seamless fabrics. Double click it, set it to be a normal map, and now when we continue our rendering, You can see that now we have fabric grain, whereas if we turn this off, we just have the texture of the color and it looks rather flat. So with this on, we get that nice fabric grain. Now it might be a bit too big, the fabric grain. So I'm going to turn off sync because if I don't turn off sync and I just shrink the normal map, you can see that the texture itself was shrinking too. And I want the texture to stay the size it was. So I'm going to turn off sync, and then I'm just going to scale this down to be 0.8 maybe. The texture I'm going to make a bit bigger. And there you can see, after letting it render for a minute, we have a nice fabric grain weave that makes it just look a bit more real. 
You could also control the angle of your normal map. So if you rotate that, you can see these lines are going straighter down. And if we rotate it in this direction, they're going across more. And in this direction, we can get them to go across more like that. And you can also control the bump height. So you raise this, the normal map becomes stronger, and you can see the effect a bit stronger. It becomes a higher bump, and if you lower it, then the effect becomes much subtler. Now you can hardly see it at all. And if you take it in the minus, it becomes inverted. So parts that would go up otherwise are now going down, and the parts that were going down are now going up. And there you can see how pretty it looks with the normal map. Now I'm just going to turn off the bump and in case you didn't know you can open up the scale here and you can separately scale the Y or the X of the texture both on the normal map and the color map and of course specular and opacity maps too. So if we raise the X you can see it's stretching the texture horizontally. If we put this to 20 it will be even more obvious. Put this back to 1, and then put this on 40, and then it's going to stretch it downwards. Sometimes it's nice to stretch some textures, they look actually quite interesting, along with a transformation of the angle. And then if you wanted to scale the overall thing, after you played with these two individual sliders, you can just close this and then use this one to scale the overall texture, while still maintaining the relationship between this and this, as you said here. So that's how to import textures, scale them and change the colors and apply normal map in Keyshot. If you need beautiful, seamless textures, visit cgelves.com.